If you think you've graduated past push-ups, think again. Ring push-ups are the variation for you if your goal is to build semi pushing strength and the imbalance of rings will leave you with still fibre for connective tissue that will translate extremely well to calisthenic skills. So there's a simple tutorial on how to do ring push-ups along with progressions, let's dive straight into it. Okay so start with the rings level and low to the ground and get into a high plank position. Now this position alone may be incredibly humbling so it's important to stay safe here. We want to depress and retract the scapula and keeping the elbows close to our side lower into the bottom of the push-up. Allow yourself to feel that deep stretch on the chest in the bottom position before driving back up and at the top of the rep lock out the elbows, protract the scapula and turn the elbow pits outwards. Now this turning out of the rings is a gymnastic standard that has carried into calisthenics, but what I like about this is that it keeps us from cheating ourselves. Our body is evolutionarily designed to look for shortcuts, but by turning the rings out, we get a deeper contraction on the triceps because we know the arm is absolutely locked out. We force the biceps and the delts to create the sort of stability that will translate well to planche work, and the turnout encourages this coming together of the rings, and given one of the jobs of the chest is arm adduction, we get a deeper contraction on the chest as well than we would in standard push-ups. There are three things that we want to keep in mind as well when it comes to good form for ring push-ups. Firstly, we want to maintain scapular discipline. No hunching of the shoulders, we want retraction at the bottom and protraction at the top. Second, we're looking for straight lines. We don't want to extend the spine or pike at the hips here. And third, no excessive flaring of the elbows. This not only removes the tension we want to create in the chest, but is especially dangerous on rings. If we want to make this easier, the intuitive thing to do would be to decrease the lean of the rings, which isn't a terrible way of regressing ring push-ups, but we can do better. By holding a light band in our hand, we get the support of managing the instability of rings while still holding true to the horizontal aspect of this pushing movement. A progression to ring push-ups is to add weight. This is made all the more intense because we can lower the chest past the line of the hands and really get that deep stretch on the pecs. Alternatively, we can pivot to something like an archer variation, which will allow us to deal with any imbalances we may have. Crowd ring push-ups are up there as one of my favorite pushing exercises. And if you want to understand how you can level up your push-ups in general, then check out this video right here.